hello. I think it's time for a garden update. Let's check out my little spring garden, shall we? These are my beautiful cabbages. They're doing really well. I have planted some more seeds, cabbage seeds, in the end here and in some of the gaps where they didn't grow quite so well. But this guy's looking great. I'm very happy about that. And then I have three, four broccoli. They look fantastic. This is our vampire repellent. It is doing spectacular. A couple of them are rather, rather thin still. They're rather small. Um, this is my first year growing garlic, so uh, hopefully we get a decent little yield out of this batch. This is my Monero purple and my Peruvian white. These are the whites, these are the purples. They are doing amazing. I'm very, very happy with their progress. This is the Polish variety. I believe it's called Dolowski. And they're doing okay. A couple got really bent by the wind, uh, so they're a bit sideways. And we have a couple of elephant garlic along this side. Um, two of them came up quite well. The others just needed a little bit longer. But they're doing quite well. These garlic over here are the music variety, which I've been desperate to plant for a couple of years now, so I'm very excited to get these in. I planted a jalapeno today which uh, I will be making cowboy candy with, uh, which I'm very excited for. The lettuce garden has once again been eaten. So I think that me blaming the ruse was a waste of time because it wasn't the ruse, it was probably rats or mice or possums. But it's all gone. This was full a couple of weeks ago. And I've got old onions that were going a bit funny in the cupboard and we planted them and now we should get some seeds for next season which would be very exciting. I have some lovely potato beds. My potatoes are starting to pop up. They have gotten a little bit frost burnt this week. We had a frost. Not much in these two yet but they're coming along. This bed over here is my newest creation. So this bed is full of potatoes which yes have been a little bit frost burnt but they they bounce back so there's six heirloom potatoes in here and I've just planted the rest of it out with tomatoes. So we've got three little ones up here, one, two, three, four, one down the end and then this one. This one is a lollipops variety which I'm really excited about. It got a little bit frost burnt too but I will be covering it uh, on this trellis this week. And the other ones are Romas I believe. Or maybe they're not. I think maybe they're not. Maybe the Romas are still in my punnets ready to plant out. But tomatoes and potatoes, apparently they do well together. So we'll see how that does. And this is what we did yesterday. So this whole bed here is a new bed. And I've just planted out onions. About 50 onions in here. The rest of the bed is not filled yet. And I have one, two, three, four. A little one in the corner. So this one in the corner, I've planted the giant Russian sunflowers, which get about three meters tall. It'll be just nice and pretty in that corner and uh, they're edible. This one, I have zucchini. I planted this out with zucchini. I planted this one out with spaghetti squash. I planted this one out with Mexican sour gherkins, or I think they're called cucamelons. And that one I would like to put some little mini cucumbers in, like pickling cucumbers. Yes, they're close together. Yes, they might cross pollinate. That's okay. I don't mind. I'm just doing it for the fun of it this year. Um, and I just thought this is an interesting way to have the guns in like little circles because some of these will uh, trellis out and I don't have a proper trellis so they'll just spread and I can just let them go crazy all up in here all over the fence line. It's kind of exciting and then this I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here yet. It's a little bit more space. I might plant more tomatoes. We'll see how we go. I do have eight more in a punnet. And uh, this is our lovely garden. So that's my short little garden update. Uh, we're planting lots of natives around too. We bought a grevillea on the weekend. We bought another clistamine. We've bought some Pacific blues. Not sure if they're native or not, but they're pretty and the bees like them. So we bought some. 
and uh, we are enjoying it immensely. I also did get some more sage. I got some more parsley. My thyme's doing great. My oregano's gone crazy. My um, what's the other one? I've got rosemary. Rosemary does really well here, and I even have flowers on my blueberries. The boys are being crazy on the trampoline, so I'm gonna go join them, and I will see you on our next video. Hopefully, we'll have a bit of a house update for you all. See you later. Bye.